Hey, it's Amy with Greater Than Rubies, and I want to talk to you today about how to get exactly what you want. Wouldn't it be cool if we were like in the Aladdin movie and we could rub that little magic lamp, the genie would pop out and he would grant us our every wish? Yeah, unfortunately, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. I do want to show you today how you can learn the art of asking. And this is actually a biblical principle. Let me read to you from Proverbs 16, verse 23. It says, The heart of the wise teaches his mouth and adds learning to his lips. In some versions, it actually says, adds persuasiveness to his lips. So I want to talk to you today about the art of persuasion and how you can increase your chances that your parents or coworkers or boss or whoever you're talking to will say yes to your requests. So if you're a person who's devious or manipulative, this is not for you because the art of the ask is really based on one big principle and then there's several little things inside of that. But getting someone to say yes to you is about relationships. Yes comes from having a good relationship. So that's the first thing to know. But I also wanna show you um, an acronym I call TRAP. So you can trap people into saying yes to you. It sounds like that devious person, but it's really not. Check it out. I wanna tell you a story about a girl I was mentoring um, just over the phone a couple years ago. She called me crying one day because she'd asked her dad to borrow the truck and he said, no way, Jose, you're not getting the truck. But um, she called me crying and I said, well, did you ask the right way? And she's like, yes. And I said, how, how did you ask? And she said, I said, daddy, please. Well, please is nice, but let me tell you the story and we can figure out um, what went wrong and how to fix it. So basically she just asked any old random time for, for the truck. She didn't give her dad reasons or anything. And so when he said no, she was mad and sad and pouted and stomped off. And that's definitely not the way to do things. But we went back through and talked about what she could have done better. And that's what the trap principle is. So the trap principle is T, making sure that your timing's right. Unbeknownst to this girl, her dad had had a really bad, hard day at work. And she was asking him right off the bat without giving him a chance to settle in and have some time together. R stands for responsibilities and relationship. She had some homework that had been undone for a couple of days and her dad was worried that she was going off, you know, driving around to do who knows what and neglecting her responsibilities. Also their relationship was kind of rocky. They had some arguments about this homework previously that needed to be repaired to restore his confidence in his daughter. The A stands for appealing to the other person's wants and desires. So when you're asking a question of someone, you've got to realize what they're thinking about. She didn't realize it, but her dad was worried about her safety. She didn't drive a lot, was going to the city, and so he was worried that she would get lost or that something would happen. And so yeah, that was a big part of the reason he said no. Um, the thing that she did right is the first P in trap, which is use pleasant words. It's amazing still how those, those words that they tell you are magic when, when you're young still go a long way to make people want to say yes to you. So the first P is pleasant words. And she did use those. She did say please. Uh, the last P is probably the, the one that young people don't really know about. And this has really a, been a big secret for how I've gotten a lot of what I wanted in life. The, the last piece stands for persist in negotiation. And it's something my mom taught me from a young age. Instead of just begging or crying about something or getting mad, figure out, have a conversation with that person and say, what is it that you need to say yes to me? and let them come up with a scenario. It might be worth it to you, it might not. You might wanna scrap it. It might be like, you know, Cinderella. If you clean the whole house, then you can go to the ball and you might be like, see ya. But um, it will at least 
let you know what you have to work with. So that's T timing, R for responsibility and relationship, A for appeal, the first P is pleasant words, and the last P is persist in negotiation. That will help trap people into wanting to say yes to you. Now, going back to my friend's story, when she fixed it and she talked to her dad again, he still said no. Sometimes that will happen. But he said no because he wanted to take her. And he ended up not just letting her borrow the truck, but taking her on a trip to the mall to buy the prom dress that she wanted that was on sale, and they even had a nice dinner afterward. It was a great father-daughter bonding experience. And so these are the kind of things that can happen when you learn the art of asking and practice asking properly. Asking is the best way to get what you want, learn how to do it right, and you're gonna have a lot more success in your life. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, share it with someone who could use it, and I will see you again next time. Bye. Hey, if you like this, you might also really like my Rock Your Life online success course. You can go to udemy.com, that's U-D-E-M-Y.com, and type in Rock Your Life in the search bar to see more about my awesome course. Thanks, see you later.